Hello everyone, so today we're going to be playing some Stellaris. A couple of you might have noticed the large amount of Stellaris streams over the past week. I've pretty much been addicted to this game. This game is a 4X uh, RTS, which stands for Exploration, Exploitation, uh, Expansion, and Extermination. So you kind of are building a space empire. Uh, it's a very different game than the usual FPS games that I play on this channel. Um, but yeah, we're going to play it. It's, uh, it's a little bit relaxed. It's a more relaxed game that I can play. And, you know, maybe we'll talk about some things that are, uh, you know, topics on the channel or just life stuff. Uh, kind of a vlog. Take it real chill. And then uh, we'll see how this series does. It's going to be really different. It's going to be very relaxing. So if you're looking for that high, high paced, high octane uh, FPS gameplay, um, you, you might not necessarily enjoy this series. But don't worry, we still have squad gameplay and uh, other FPS gameplay videos going up on the channel. I'm also kind of getting into paintball, but that's a top topic uh, we'll talk about once we get started, I guess. Uh, so we're going to be playing a uh, race called the Masonists. That It's a custom mace that I made. Um, and essentially, we are a, a very smart but expensive and bulky uh, nation. Um, and the, the whole idea behind this kind of uh, race is that we're, we're going to be going for uh, building tall, which in 4X games means not really expanding too much, but building upon a small key group of cities. So I've taken uh, the Gestalt Consciousness. This is going to be a... Um, Leviathan's Synthetic Dawn and U um, and Utopia DLC uh, Vanilla Play. Um, so we have uh, we picked uh, the Machine Intelligence with uh, Unitary Cohesion, which gives us plus fifteen percent Unity, and uh, Rock Breakers, which gives us Hero Minerals uh, throughout the entire game. Mostly because uh, minerals are really important, and uh, you can never have too many minerals. Um, I'm not really a, a genius or a pro at this game. I'm still learning a lot of things, so this is going to be probably a lot of mistakes in this playthrough. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, we're going to learn a lot. If you have any suggestions or things in the comments, go ahead and leave them and I'll read them for the next episode. But yeah, we'll just take it real chill. We'll play some games. I'll teach you how to ta uh, how to play this game and uh, maybe we'll talk about some things. So uh, we're going to take hyperspace and energy weapons to start. And uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to save and run straight into it. All right, so we're going to be playing on a large galaxy. Uh, no advanced AR st AI starts. Uh, we will be running Iron Man just because I like a little bit of a challenge. We're going to lock it down to FTL to hyperdrive only simply because I feel like it gives the game a lot more structure and pretty vanilla settings from there. So we're going to look and see what kind of start we get. Um, so right off the bat, at the start of every, of every game, you get three Corvettes, a construction ship, a science ship, and then three science things to pick. Uh, the construction ship builds mining and research stations. Um, we're gonna split up our, our small fleet of three Corvettes. Looking where we started, we're on the edge, and I like that because I'm safe, because the only place, if I lock down this choke, this is the only way they can get to my home world. So I'm, I'm okay with this, especially since we're building tall. I don't mind being on the edge of the galaxy. So we're gonna take our security echelons and have them scout the immediate worlds around us. I'm gonna have this one go straight through the center see uh how far out we can get him hopefully he doesn't die but it's always a possibility uh so right now we start with a very limited vision of the map and uh we're just gonna try to open that up for ourselves a little bit take this one and go up this way so like i said this is gonna be a completely different game from the usual things you see on the channel but we will still be doing the uh squad the day of infamy all the kind of tactical hardcore fps games that you guys like to watch those are still going to be on the channel but i don't know i find this to be a really relaxing game and you know maybe this series will do well we'll talk about things we'll try to kind of turn it into a podcast of sorts i guess uh but yeah we're just going to scout all up here and then we'll take the third one and go down uh, see what's up here so because i'm playing a tall or smaller empire i want to uh look for really good planets and just focus on those like uh three off the bat and then as we get more planet control we can uh check those out i actually need to swing back up here i'm gonna go back up um so that should be enough scouting for now we'll, we'll see everything immediate area around us uh science ship uh discovers you know not only the planets but what's on the planet so we're gonna survey this entire system and the uh It'll go around just uh, checking out all the planets, seeing what kind of resources are there. And our world. Since we're robots, we have to build our populations. 
So uh, right off the bat, one, two, three, four. We we have a really small planet. We have a really small home world, uh, which is uh, four by four, so sixteen out of uh, I think twenty. So we're gonna start right off and build a uh, build a pop. Now we're gonna save. Oh, we gotta do our research. So we get there are three types of research in the game. You have um, physics, society, and engineering. And uh, we're gonna see if we have any leaders we can pick. We have genius? No, we don't. Fortunate. Um. So yeah, since we're building tall, we're gonna want a lot of research. We're gonna do a lot of research speed stuff. So this is good because right off the bat, I get five percent increase to research to everything. And the earlier you get that, you know, the longer that. Um, buff comes into play i'm gonna go for it produces for unity uh which is how i get ta uh traditions and we'll talk about traditions once they come up but this is important because it allows me to start getting um some really really cool buildings and then engineering i could get this which increases my minerals so you have three uh main resources you have energy minerals and food i'm a robot so i don't need food and minerals are used to create things uh energy is used to maintain systems like uh pops have you know maintenance and stuff like that so i need to pay for that uh influence lets us do other cool things with uh diplomacy but we're robots so we don't really deal with that uh, but lets us build a couple of unique buildings as well and then unity lets us do some uh get some cool talents and you'll see those later uh but yeah right off the bat right here i'm looking i could either go for more research or i could go for mining facilities and i'm gonna get this um, so we're gonna start, we'll ramp it up to fast, and all of our ships will go, go off and start doing their thing. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, I don't know, I just thought I'd start the series and, and just see where it goes. Uh, like I said, kind of a podcast series, so I'm gonna try to talk about not only stuff that's going on in the game, but, you know, just other topics as well. Uh, so, today's Saturday, I just finished, um, playing paintball with some friends. Uh, we went to the one of one of the fields around here, and uh, I gotta say, it's been 10 years since I played paintball, and I loved every second of it. Um, I might try to turn that into a regular thing, and, you know, get my own gun. I still have my equipment from, like, 10 years ago, but uh, I might, you know, get more stuff. And then I really want to uh, try to get into mag-fed paintball, and, you know, maybe get a... I still have a GoPro, so I'll maybe add some, some paintball footage to the channel if you guys like that. Uh... Because I really did enjoy myself. It's good exercise. It's good fun. Um, but yeah, so we're looking for potentially habitable planets that are size 20 or above. This one's 15, so we're not really going to bother with it. Our ships right now are just going through, checking stuff out. We're building our uh, our one guy here. We're just going to see what we find. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I've played with Alab Alabaster Sim Slim before. He's a big uh, paintball YouTuber. You should go check out his channel if you're into, you know, magfed paintball or just paintball and airsoft and stuff like that. He does a lot of cool videos, so go check out Alabaster Slim, and he's gonna see if he can help me uh, get started with paintball, and that should be a lot of fun. So this one's 19. It's not that bad, uh, but I'm, I'm still gonna hold out for uh, for 20. Oh, here we go, 23. So uh, we'll probably go survey this. I'll queue this up, have this immediately survey this system after. Uh, we're saving up our minerals. We're not really buying anything other than that one pop. Because uh, we want to save up for a colony ship. And a colony ship lets us uh, lets us colonize other planets. Aliens. There's aliens over here. Oh, cool. So this, I think, is a uh, station. That's a, uh, a trader station, which comes from the Leviathan DLC. So I can use energy which once again is this resource to, to buy certain things. Ooh, there's another 23. So we might grab both these 23s, not right off the bat. That'd be uh, pretty expensive, but uh, we'll see which one we get first. Most likely it'll be uh, this one. This is a pretty key piece of the uh, terrain that can lock this hyperlane, which uh, essentially cuts off my whole south. So we might go for that. So we'll see though. We have my uh, nine ship. Getting ready to System's sit down here and check, and then I'll send him, what, 24! Ah, oh, we're, we're going straight for the 24, excuse me. And then uh, we'll check out both the 23 systems. So the highest, uh, the most, the, the, the biggest size you can get on a planet is 25. So 24 is pretty damn good. Oh, and another 24. Yeah, we're definitely going to snag this 24, uh, because it has another planet in, in the same system. So there's two planets in this system. And if we grab it, we'll probably be able to uh, 
get this within our territory. So as you can see right here, my territory is really, really small. It's uh, only this size. We can grow it with uh, as we get bigger. Um, but other, but anything outside my territory, other nations and other uh, civilizations can claim. So I want to be able to grab these two before anyone else does. And uh, hopefully we can do that. So I'm, mm, I'd say about five. I don't know. Maybe eight turns out from getting enough. So this game operates on a month turn basis. It's just RTS, but at the end of every month you get a, uh, which kind of counts as a turn, you get your uh, incomes. So right there, we just got a plus 16, plus seven. Another 24, wow, we're getting lucky. So we're probably just gonna go down this way. I wanna grab this one first, cause I can probably grab both these 24s. If I really wanna grab that level 10 for free later, I can. So we'll see. Wow, a lot of big planets are in here. So this is uh, looking good. Hopefully none of these, none of these are inhabited. They aren't. They don't look like it. Oh, we should see another alien vessel. So there's somewhere here, someone uh, here to our south. We're playing with only AI. So there's an AI to our south. There's another 24. Jeez. Or is that the same one I looked at? I can't open it up fastest right now. Oh. Okay, yeah, so that's the Enclave. That's these guys. And uh, if we go to our tab here we can talk to them and we can get star charts they can help us with a research which is really good uh so that's great because we are a research nation we we don't really plan on going to war unless we have to oh and this is another nation he's got a level 24 in his area so he's probably going to grab that uh, but yeah we can't really discover anything about these guys until we research them oh we got another guy over here so we're uh we're not too close to them but we're close enough to where they could be a threat in taking these uh planets from us so we're gonna want to grab these as soon as possible so my science ship right now is uh checking this out serving the system then we're queue up this system and then uh this one and then this one this one this one's a little too far i don't think we're gonna be able to grab this far 24 but definitely should be able to grab this one so we're almost at 500 uh, we're just we're just waiting. Uh, our pop, our first pop hasn't finished constructing yet, so we're not gonna worry about that for now. What's going on up here? So yeah, all these ships have their orders to scout around, see what's up. This guy might need some orders soon, so we're gonna send him actually down here to check out what's going on in this area. So yeah, I've just really been enjoying this game because it's it's just really relaxing to just be able to sit back and, you know, make an empire. And then sometimes sometimes stuff gets pretty crazy and you have like big wars and ship battles and stuff like that, huge conflicts. But uh yeah, it's just an enjoyable, relaxed time for me. All right. Two more turns and then we can get our first uh our first ship. Unfortunately, we're going to be at 499. All right, almost there. Fantastic, so we have our first ship on the way. We gained a, uh, cool, so one of our, uh, our, our science ship gained a level. Minus 10 to anomaly risk, which is pretty good. So as he goes around and discovers things, he has a chance to see like anomalies, which are like, you know, anomalies, things that are weird on on the planet systems or uh, moons and so you can see him researching this right now that's what he's doing. all right so as soon as we get this colony ship we're gonna over here hopefully it's not too far it is a little bit distant we'll, we'll see the further away it is the more influence costs i'm not sure how far away this is going to count this system but point two directly north of us two that's good. Once again, we're not really going to go for too big of a land grab. Um, so we can control five systems off the bat. Construction because, uh, complete. We're going to take this and climb over here. Hopefully we can colonize this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh wait, wait. Oh, our uh, pop finished building. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to grab System this. System survey complete. All right. So we got our first tradition. So this is what I was talking about with our unity. Uh, what what unity gives us and it gives us tradition 
these are their own trees. They come with, um, you know, cool things like expansion. Take this if you're going to expand a lot. It gives you a lot of buffs when you're trying to take more planets. Uh, domination is when you're trying to get other nations under your control. Prosperity for money and, and building cost stuff. Synchronicity is just a... It's a pretty um, versatile tree. Um, it's got like defensive stuff. Uh, your leaders are less likely to die. Building speed. So it's, it's a pretty uh, versatile role. We're a research nation, so we're going to go with Discovery, which helps us with our research. We get a plus 10 to research when we get all five of these. Um, versatility, once again, one of those uh, general roles can help with a lot of different things. And then Supremacy is if we're going for a lot of combat, which we which we aren't. We're a, we're a research nation, so we're going to take Discovery first and uh, fill out this tree. And once we fill out this tree, we get an Ascension perk, which, which is like a really big perk. Um, we're at 100, so what we can do with 100 minerals is actually start building mining stations and so the first thing i want to do is get uh energy because when i colonize the next planet it's going to cost me a lot of energy oh we found another enclave these are artisan troops so we can buy uh we can buy art from them and they'll give us more unity so we found our first actual empire the Dijun hegemony oh and th those were those guys over here okay so they're probably going to gobble up this 24 which we were looking at um, but not too worried about that. System. I need to be able to survey this system. You can see it's not been surveyed because it's grayed out. Uh, but once we do, we'll, we'll get um, another Polarian Alliance. Egalitarians and Militaristic. So they might be a problem later on. But not. Those are the guys to our south. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so I can't build in here until I discover things. So like these little energy, mineral, and credits things. I can't do anything with this system until I discover it. So I really want to grab this. How much is it? Cost? Oof. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to afford that. I'm going to hope that we can grab this one. At least. Yeah, no, we need to do that now. This is just a little bit too far out of our reach. Another nation right there. We're going to get crowded. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to cost a lot here as well. Hmm might be in a bit of a pickle we're gonna have a uh colony ship soon here and not really know what to do with it hopefully we can survey this figure out if we can do that. otherwise we might be in a bad spot um this guy's almost finished making this re this uh mining station for energy so we're gonna send him over here and build another one see what's going on, on the surface we got that guy so we might want to focus on building a new pop soon i'm gonna move him over from getting one mineral to two energy simply because when i get this colony ship out it's gonna tank my energy because the they cost energy to have out construction complete all right so as you saw my it went from 10 down and so we're gonna see how much is this gonna uh they seem equidistant this could be really bad i know Yeah, pretty bad. We're gonna start sending him down here just so that he can get here. I start serving. Want him to survey this email. and you survey the rest of the system. <sighs> So we're gonna save up our minerals to build another machine pop. The Mechazur's construction complete. Mining uh, construction ship just finished that. God, I really want this planet though. 180. Just met someone else, the committee of Chiril. Oh, they're right here. They're really close as well. Hopefully, uh, what kind of nation are you? Galitarian materials, xenophile. All right, so he's not going to be too much of a for you again. Militarist, fanatic, authoritarian. All right, how much is this going to cost? Ooh, all right. We're going to have to settle for the 19, I think. And pick those up later. So we're, we're still here. 
I'm gonna start heading over there. Yeah, I don't want to pick up. That's important. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Uh -oh. So we're gonna lose these guys. These guys got caught up with these space amoebas. Alert. Yeah, fleet just lost one of my scout corvettes. That's fine. I'm expecting those to die just so I can get more information. Um, I'm gonna send my survey ship over that 19. Hopefully we can colonize this. Uh, we should because it's relatively closer compared to the other two. And then uh, we actually have enough to build our next Mechazur. And then uh, we can clear these tiles. These tiles are blocked until we clear. I'm gonna opt for the minerals mineral one is uh minerals let me build more uh, faster oh might lose these guys too unless they can get out yeah i think we're gonna lose these guys oh no they're just flying around they're not gonna attack me be able to get out of there Technological acquisition. Alright, sweet. So, so we researched that uh five percent buff. Let's see what we get now. Oh, assist research. We want that because once again we're a research race. So we're gonna roll with that. Colony ship made it here first. Science ship is uh close by. And uh yeah, I'm not really worried about bu building another power plant on top of this, so you can build things on top of your tiles Planetary that you control. Alert. Tile blocker. But I'm not really con uh, concerned about that because we're already in the positive and energy isn't really too important at the start. At least in my opinion. So yeah, this science ship's gonna move over there, and you should be able to settle that as soon as we discover it. So a bit of a, a bit of a rocky start, but it's it's not too bad because we do have a couple really nice systems here. Um, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, and we're not settling that anytime soon. I want to see if I could kind of grab it, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. Uh, let's see. We aren't building anything here. There's no real to no real need to build anything, so we're just gonna relax. Uh, wait for stuff to survey. Alright, so please tell me we can settle this. Yes, we can. Alright. I want you all nice this planet. We're gonna put you down uh, right here in the center because it gets uh, it gives bonuses to buildings that are touching it. So I want it somewhere where I can reach all four. And this is one of the only spots I can, so we're gonna do that. All Planetary right, so our first our first colony, initiated. the first Mechazur colony. I get 60 engineering research for that. And uh, yeah, we're going to start doing that. It's going to take us 60 months, so quite a while, uh, a couple years. But yeah, ancient structure. We, dis we have detected some kind of utterly massive space insulation. Uh, here's a sa 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 sis Asia system. It's very old. And it's power system. Interesting. Oh, is that? No, that couldn't be. Let's see where this is. This uh, shit. Ooh, what is that? I've never seen that before. I don't even know what that is. Where is this? Ooh, that's that's not too close. So I'm not Anomalous too worried about surface it. Surface variable detected. That is uh that is alarming. There's a big fleet over here too. Acquisition successful. So some dangers, some dangers further out, but nothing, nothing immediately near us. Um, asteroid appears to have been intermittently used as a base by a band of alien pirates. So I get some money out of that. Cool. Um, so as you can see, like as we colonize and as we grow, we we get more space of influence, uh, where we can start working on stuff more. Um, we're actually gonna start using our construction ship. I've been neglecting this. This is my fault. Uh, should have been neglecting this. I don't really actually. Yeah, we're gonna build a mining station uh, on this energy because every station I put down costs energy to maintain. And then we're also going to upgrade this uh, mining facility to from one to two, and we'll get one more mineral out of that a month. Finish. Yeah. So we finished this research, which allowed us to do that. Uh, I want to get the uh, spaceport tech ASAP. I want to build bigger ships, uh, and that will also let me get the bigger structures faster. Um, so far we're doing all right. Kind of slacking with with this guy, but other than that, we're we're doing all right. I'm gonna have this guy survey this other thing within my influence, so I can start building there as well. 
precursor, precursor event. Pretty cool. Cool. And yeah, construction ship. I just need to make sure I'm using these minerals every turn. Construction complete. Right, so there we go. And then now start building research stations. Construction complete. Full construction. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna have System you move over there. Complete. Take one there. Uh, we finished making stuff on our home planet. We're gonna upgrade the other one as well, and then queue up. Can we? We can. We're gonna queue up another mining network for this guy because hopefully these two will face at the same time. Technological and uh, that building will be ready, ready right on time. So we got more tech. Finish the network junction. Um, ooh, I didn't put thing. Okay, I want to get one plus one monthly influence a month, which is this one, uh, simply because earlier I get that, the longer that, that affects so that next. I need to clear a tile here, like ASAP. Let's clear the food tile as soon as we uh, finish this turn, because I don't have enough money. Now we do, we're going to clear it. And I got to build a uh, upload node for two extra unity on that, and then I'll work that so I can get those those talents faster, the uh, traditions faster, and we can work our way down this tree faster. God, that was a mistake as well. That's not too big of a mistake, but uh, we'll see. As you can tell, I'm still I'm still really a noob at this. Um, so a three mineral is pretty good. So we're gonna send our mining ship over there to get ready to farm it. Uh, we don't really have enough points, but by the time he makes that distance, he should. All right, so this building's gonna finish and then work on this one. And these two should roughly finish at the same time, which is really good. All right, so we have three uh, nations complete. near us. Two of them are militarists, so that could be a problem. But other than that, uh, if we are right. What is that? Horror in the void. Some kind of vast entity near Sus Suscat's Maw. Partially inside our own universe. The bulk of the creature is still crapped in whatever nightmarish realm it spawned from. That sounds pretty scary. Where is this? Jeez. That thing is huge. I've never seen that either. Wow. Alright. Uh, this guy finished looking and he found a 24 planet in this ring here. So I want to get both these 24s. Like, as soon as possible. We'll probably go to this one next, because it's closest. And will cost less influence. Because the further away, it costs more influence. But this one's close, and then we'll try to work our way down to this 24. And we should be looking pretty good. That should be all the plants that we need for quite some time. Um, so, uh, you're done. We're going to have you start scouting. Start scouting down here. I want to see what's down here at the uh, bottom of the galaxy. Hostile oh. oh, he killed that huge dimensional horror actually killed my scout corvette. That is actually terrifying. Um, all right, so we have enough to also build a new pop. So we're going to do that and that will happen. Uh, yeah, so that's clear this tile. All right. Okay. Science chip is scouting all done so we can, uh, Make stuff in there. And we got our second talent. And we're going to go for... We don't have too much research. So a tenth of our monthly gain. That's that's like a 0.6 right now. So that's not really too useful. We'll get this once we have like more. That'll be, then it'll be more effective. But research alternatives. Uh, we're going to take that first. And what that will let us do is essentially... Um, you know when... So right now I only have three choices. Once we get that, we'll get four, so we'll have more to pick from. So we're gonna finish this research, though. All right, this science ship Planetary or this uh, tile blocker ship can spot. actually build. We cleared that tile blocker. So what we're gonna actually do is build that upload link over the food, because I don't really give a crap about food, because we're robots, we don't need food. So we're gonna do that, and as soon as that's finished, I'm gonna plop a uh, guy over there. System survey complete. System survey com All right, so there was actually nothing there. Fantastic. Um, let's see. We're gonna go complete. Here, go down here. Wait. I want to see what this twenty-four is, and then we're gonna finish. 
surveying this system. Um, should we do? Oh, the mining ship finished building something. Okay, well, this is the only, this is the last thing my mining ship can build at the moment, so we'll just have them enter orbit there. I don't have enough money for that station yet. Um, but, oh, I have one more research. So we'll have them build this and then go back and build that. Uh, we are now negative, so I am going to queue up a power plant here so that we will get uh, another two, which will put us in the positive. This is construction ship. Next month, up enough. Okay, fantastic. And now you'll build for 90. Yes, I know I'm in deficit, but that'll get fixed as soon as we get that fixed. We're gonna move this guy over here to start getting the uni. Uh, that means we do give up the three minerals, but I'm at plus 24 right now, so it's not really too much of a crunch. I can level this up because we discovered the network dungeon complete. earlier with research. Well, cool. so the construction fini uh, ship finished that. We're going to go back and build this last thing. Okay. So hopefully this game isn't too overwhelming for some of you. I know it might be, but uh, <laughs> yeah, baby steps. It took me a whole week to learn how to be somewhat competent at this game. So uh, Construction complete. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, we're, we're doing pretty good for our first start. We found a lot of good, uh, good, not buildings, but uh, planets. Excuse me, jeez, my brain. Uh, we found a lot of good plants, so we're going to start trying to gobble these up. This 224, these 224s are huge for me. I need both these 24s, and then this third one later on, but that's not too much of a issue right now. I just want one here, because I'll be able to get two in my sphere of influence guy is expanding southwest so that or actually no these are two different people this guy is expanding southwest this guy hasn't expanded yet so hopefully he doesn't take anything that i want this guy hasn't built his first colony yet so we're pretty ahead right now i can build something here i don't think i got anything from my spaceport no i can't build anything on my spaceport yet but i can't i'm gonna move this guy over here and upgrade this in the meantime so this should this upgrade should finish a little bit before this pop gets worked uh, but we'll see and yeah, construction ships doing stuff, science ships doing stuff. I do have assist research, but right now I need my science ship doing important stuff. And I don't have enough minerals really to deal with making another one. So how much would this cost now if I was to call all nice 45. So we could get that relatively soon. Um, I'm debating on actually rushing that saving rushing that because that's a pretty important system for me i think we're gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna save uh let me pause real fast what i want to get so colony develop and influence cost 660 Thing. or you could get a physics lab not really needing this right now or a fusion reactor this is for ships that was my, powers my ships uh more and then, or we could get energy. I'm not really looking at this either. I think we're going to go for the colony fabrication drone simply because I have a lot of colonies I want to grab fast. And this decreases that influence cost that I was talking about before and makes them develop a little bit faster. Actually, that's a lot faster, 50%. So I think we're going to grab this. This is going to finish in oh, that's a long time. I think by the time that happens, it's not going to be as useful. That's too long. That's way too long. So we're going to go for one of these. Uh, we'll go for the energy grid because I will need energy sooner rather than later. And I don't really plan on building. Um, I don't really plan on building research labs too soon because we got unlucky with a really small planet. And we need, uh, we need this planet to have producing to be producing things rather than just research so we're gonna hold off on that and then yeah we're, we're in an okay place now we're, we're finally uh, not negative on this we're barely positive we're getting 0.8 of an energy credit a month so that's good uh, science ship is still going through and tagging up these 24 planets because i need to know what's in the system this is a good system six energy seven minerals this one has seven energy and uh complete. seven mineral uh energy construction complete um so our ship can't really do too much now so we're just gonna relax and save money for uh another another colony ship 
and uh, take Denar Dandar. Thirty-three, so ten, uh, ten turns, about eleven turns. And uh, yeah, we're gonna wait eleven turns, so we're gonna ramp this up the fastest. What does it say? A new empire. Where is that? South must be. Oh, it's another enclave, another trading center. That's good. This guy's this expanding northwest, so yeah, that that does concern me. I really want to grab this like as fast as possible. So we're gonna save. Construction complete. We are somewhat negative. That might end up being a, an issue, but this is almost done. And uh, this costs eight energy credits a month. We only have four months left, and then this will be plus six. So we'll be okay. So long as we don't expand too much, too fast, we should be okay on energy. Technological acquisition successful. Uh, okay, so we got Corvettes. Now, I don't need ion thrusters. I don't really need missiles. I might, at this point, I'm just going to grab the engineering facility because we'll need it later to start cranking out research. So we're going to do that. Planetary surface settlement is All right, we've finished our first settlement. Take a look here. This is our 19. Um, we're going to go ahead and build a... No, we're not. We're saving. We're saving. I'm sorry. As much as I would like to, we're actually just going to move him here and deactivate this for now. Because uh, this... This works only one energy, this works one and a mineral. So we're just gonna do that. And uh, next turn, next, next turn. Two off, once again, that's so unfortunate. Commerce exchange, yep, so it's another trader. That was the, the people we discovered down below. Um, we're gonna, do 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 do. Pony ship, cool, all right. Bring this down back, and then now we can start using our money again. More tech. We're gonna get the bio lab because I don't really want to get these tile blockers. What these do is allow me to re remove certain things on certain planets, like uh, this is the mountain range and the dangerous wildlife. But there's an ascension perk, so let's let's take a look here. So I need to research like the mountain range to get rid of these. I would need to research that. But in the traditions, once we finish this tree and we get an ascension perk. There's an ascension perk called Mystery of Nature, which lets us get rid of all the tile blockers for free without researching. And it decreases the cost. So we're just going to wait for that. Okay. Now we're positive in both areas until this gets, uh, this colony ship gets made. Then we'll go back down to eight. We'll go negative eight again. So we're going to use this time to build ops. guys are expensive they're 30 more than they should be i believe or actually they're 20 i think they're supposed to cost 100 but they cost 100 because we took the uh where is it look the we took the luxurious so yeah plus 20 percent would increase the cost by 20 percent of our own that's saving up waiting for that second colony ship and then by the time that gets pumped out we should have enough yep we we have enough to colonize this so we are colonizing two out of our five core systems so let me go count this so we have one two three four and then five after that so we're looking pretty good we can grab this 23 later 23s later if, if we have the uh app for it i'm not too worried about this 24 this is too close to these guys i don't really want to mess with them too much but we're just not gonna worry about that right now and we unlocked another tradition so we're gonna go for the experience leader experience game by 25 because uh since we're robots since we're robots we are immortals so we don't die from like being of old age there's a chance that we can break down but it's very low so the the more leader experience you have and the faster you get it the more skill like this guy gets research speed these guys get research speed this guy gets like education and op production uh buffs and stuff like that on every level so the more xp they get since they don't die it lasts throughout you know their entire lifeline which is you know virtually immortal unless something bad happens We're gonna wait again 
Anomalous Actually, surface yeah. variable detected. I need 120 to make another pop, so we're just waiting for I can uh, put a pop on this world again. And we'll probably put him on this tile to work the uh, the energy, because we're going to need it. Because once again, we go minus 8 once that colony ship pops out. So we're probably going to get this guy now. Then we'll activate this building again once he's built. Right now it's deactivated, so it doesn't cost any maintenance. Um, but once he gets built, we'll uh, turn it on that he can use, it, use that building. What I will want to do here mo in a moment is build another one of those upload links. Links? Links? What? Uh, upload links on this planet so we can get that plus two uh, unity. And that's important because uh, you can only build one of these per planet. Whereas like I could build as many basic uh, science labs or power plants or mines on a, on a, on a, on a planet. I can only put one upload link. So, yeah, it's planet unique, as you can see right there. So we're going to wait for that. Um, build that now. And then once that done is, is done being built, we'll shift probably this guy over here. Because the two unity is more important than the one energy credit. Uh, we still have to upgrade this one, but this costs 200. That's rather expensive. I'm just going to hold off. Now, uh, where's my scout fleet? Okay, uh, let's complete. go see what's... Oh. And my science chip, I need to get more... Construction uh, complete. Let's pause real fast. Research this thing. This is a special project here. He can research this... This, uh... Gas giant. And, uh, we'll see what we find. Something there. Alright. Got our colony ship. Not that one. This one. All nice planet. Um, food is not so useful to us, so I might just drop it on a food tile. Erase the food tile. I think I'm gonna do. Planet gives us a good amount of research and energy. We have uh, there he is. we have this thing called Bitharian Stone on this world, which is not on every planet. It's rare on the tiles, and we have a planet that has it. And I can build something on here that gives me plus 10 energy credits. So uh, once we get this, we'll probably chill for a little bit. We won't colonize anything else for a while. We'll just focus on building up the plants we currently have. Yeah. I'm gonna clear a tile here in preparation, just because I have the money to do so as well. And uh, there's nothing really I can build. My construction ship is, uh, yeah, you don't, you, you, you see that there's no, uh, stuff under here, whereas, like, here I can, but, uh, it's not within my realm of complete. influence. It's not within my orange circle, so I can't build it. I could search, alright, so after you do that, I want you to search this place, because it's in my realm of influence, and if we find something here, I can build on it. Um, Planetary alert. Tile blocker expunged. We killed, killed that tile, bl tile blocker. Um, I'm not too worried about this negative two, because once again, most of that's coming from the colony ship, which costs minus eight. That will persist until this colony is created, so it will last for quite some time. But not too worried about it. Yeah, so this guy took the 24. So, since this 24 is now within his realm of influence, I can't touch it. Um, the only way I could probably get this is by war. Really? It's like the main way I can get that. Well, outside of war, it's going to be very hard for me to get this. So I can finally uh, get this upload link because it was 200. At 200 minerals. So we're going to go upgrade that. That'll give us four instead Special of project two. Complete. All right. So uh, what just. Cool. So uh, at that gas. Giant, we actually found a, what is this? A cruiser. Ooh, found a cruiser here with lasers. So this is a very strong ship early on. Right now we only have Corvettes. Um, so the level of ships right now are Corvettes into destroyers, into cruisers, into battleships, into Titans. Uh, and we just found a cruiser, so that's pretty cool. It, we, this is like really advanced technology for us technically right now. I'm gonna send him over to my spaceport on my home planet because when they're not docked at a spaceport, they cost uh, 
they cost more money to maintain. When they're when they're docked, they cost less. Uh, still still scouting with this one guy over here. So he's just going around healing what's up. Get all that. Colony ship's about to touch down. I'm gonna send my mineral ship over here or my construction ship over here, because as soon as this guy lands, we'll get a small ring of influence. And once again, just like these two, they'll grow the bigger that uh, planet population. We're just waiting on this colony ship. It's landing right now. Almost done. Planetary and done. So you see that circle. Um, we'll be able to build... We Ooh, there's a four and a three. That's really good. Usually these are two. Standard roll on these is two. But you go four and... Um, that's a really good roll. Because uh, what this could have been was like three stations or three planets with two. Instead it's just two planets with a four and a three. And those are big... Because what that means is I can spend less minerals because it's on one planet rather than having to build like two mineral mining or er, two mining stations on uh, two different planets. I just build one on the four and then one on the three. All right, this guy's still building. This guy's still building. We're going to time this and get the mining network at the same time. So because I have a plus seven here, I'm factoring that in. So I don't really need to worry about energy right now because as soon as these stations get built i'll be in the positive and then once this colony base is being made this minus a cost will go away as well technological acquisition so we're in a good successful. spot right now getting facility all right so like i said before that batharian power plant on that one planet see this plus 10 however i'm not going to opt for this i want the destroyer tech fast i want to rush my uh ship tech get bigger ships fast so we're gonna do that. Um, with the spare minerals, and since we don't really plan on expanding anytime soon, I'm going to get another science ship. That's being made. And then you'll see what I do with that in a second. Um, still can't build anything here. I don't want to build anything else because there's two buildings. There's more buildings than we can make robots right now so no real need to worry about that this robot's almost done we're gonna make a new robot over here get some construction complete research robots okay so we have that new sign ship and these sign ship need uh scientists to work on them so we're gonna see if we have a good scientist here not really we're gonna take the anomaly discovery chance just because that's the best one there out of those picks and what we're going to actually do with this ship, instead of like surveying planets and doing discovery stuff, we're going to have him assist the research on this planet. Now, there's two reasons I want to do this. Number one is it gives me a plus 10% my uh, research output, which isn't much at this point. Like, it's it's almost negligible. But in the next tradition I get, I get one unity uh, when he's doing the, uh, the research stuff. That's good. And that's going to come up soon. Let's see when it's in 24 months, so two years. And that's going to go up faster once again, because uh, once we get someone working this tile, which actually we can do right now. Uh, now we're getting three unity. So that went from two years down to 18 months. Cut, cut six months off. All right. After we discover this stuff, I'm going to have this Corvette come all the way back home. I've discovered everything I want to, anything that could be an immediate threat or anything within my reach. So I'm just going to bring him back in case we have to fight a war or whatever. Pirates, what have you. So he's going to come back after he does his last scouting trip. Uh, these people decided to, uh, the committee of Chiro decided to go west. And these guys are friendly. Yeah, these guys, these guys don't mind us. There's Xenophilia. Uh, they're xenophiles, which means that they like other aliens. These guys don't like us because we're rivals. Actually, yeah, we should declare rivalry with these guys. By doing this, it makes them a little bit angry, but we get a little bit of influence per month from doing it. So we just have to make sure that we don't appear too weak. Complete. Otherwise, uh, they'll try to attack us. All right, so let's pause for a second. A lot of stuff going on. We have 200 minerals to spend. We just finished building on this planet. And then, uh, this one, what are we doing? This robot's almost done. But oh, we're gonna upgrade our minerals so we can do more. And we're gonna save. 
because we're very close to building another robot. We're only two minerals off. And there we go. So usually if I wasn't a robot, those uh, populations would grow just from food. But because we're robots, we have to build each and every single one of our people. Um, we're going to get this three energy mining station in a second here as soon as we get. So next turn after this month, we'll build this just because this negative six is getting quite large. And that should negate it in half. All right. Is six minus three would be three, so it would be a negative three. We build this construction complete. All right, build it. All right, we're gonna activate this building, so he's working the tile now. And it's okay. I don't want to really micro this too much. So get out of hand. Uh, we do want to save up for another pop. So four months, three months now. System survey. So these robots are freaking expensive. So we just surveyed this. More stuff for our construction ship to do but that takes a lower priority over our uh building of robots because the more built uh robots we have built or uh the more resources we can get construction yeah. complete all right so you finish upgrading okay good one more turn and then we can afford another robot construction complete oh not here also fleet Okay, so you should still be able to get out. So we lost two of our initial three Corvettes to space alien stuff. Uh, but this guy should be able to get back. I don't know what to do about this Enagmet Fortress. What is that? Event Horizon? Giant construction. There's a lot of weird stuff I'm finding in this game. Like a lot of weird. I've never like an infinity machine and the the, the fortress and the other stuff. Leviathan. So huge space monsters. This is from the Leviathan DLC. And then this. Oh wait, no. Where is it? That big, that big thing. That that space guy that was like huge i don't know where that guy actually uh. oh here this dimensional horror i've never experienced him I'm not sure oh we forgot to build our pop because i was distracted and we're gonna use our construction ship here in a second so yeah drop that from six to three because we built that uh mining station we're gonna do the same over here Sign ship. Okay, uh, we're gonna pause real fast. What do we want to discover next? Probably. So as as this finishes, these two borders will try to close the gap. We'll try to mesh together. So I want to discover everything in between the three, because then I can build with my construction ship there. So I want to kind of find out what's what these like four planets four or five planets uh because as this finishes these two are gonna these two bubbles are gonna try to all right um i don't really have anything i want to build this guy over here actually over here oh, two minerals there's no real reason to have them on this uh, okay, so we're gonna upgrade our engineering facility or upgrade our science lab to an engineering facility. Our engineering's actually already pretty high, so we're just we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're uh, instead gonna clear a tile. Why not? Uh, we want more physics, so we're gonna clear this for a physics tile. <laughs> so we have Kiram, Dandar, and Zero. Our first three plants. Ooh. The alliance. These two guys are rivals now. Interesting. We got another tradition. It's been 18 months. We're going to get that uplink so that we can get more. So we're at 10 unity. We're going to be at 11. Now, I think. For next month. Oh, we're at 12. We're at 12. Cool. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is invest in another scientist uh, soon so we can, we can boost the output here and get even more unity. 
to assist the research stuff. Alright, um, that physics block, and those, those directly impact how fast we do this alert. stuff. Ooh. Many of Chiral wants a non-aggression pact so that we don't, can't go to war with each other. I'll accept that. I don't want to go to war, so that is very much in my favor. Acquisition I don't want to have to worry about fighting a war right now. Um, what do I want? Don't really need sensors. I don't plan on fighting anything. I don't plan on finding anything, so we're going to go for uh, more money, more energy. We get to pick a new uh, society research in five months as well, so that's great. This is almost done. We'll build a new pop on it. Actually, no, we don't need to. Actually. Tile blocker expunge. Communications alert. Oh. The community of Chiro wants to enter a defensive pact. So what a defensive pact does is if they go to war, if they, if someone declares war on them, or if someone declares war on me, we both go to war with that person that declared war on either one of us. So uh, it's a defensive pact. So if someone aggresses one of us, we get pulled into the war and we assist. So I'm good with that too, because their fleet is actually probably better than mine. Oh no, we're equivalent, so that's okay then. Anything to deter people from attacking me, I'm good with, because I don't want to get into a war. And these two guys are not very... They're, they're hostile, they're likely to think... So So this vampire thinks that we're their enemy, and they'll attack us if they think they can win. I think that's the same over here. No, this one just sees us as a rival. So we have to watch out for these guys down here, because these guys really don't like us, though. Valerian Alliance. They don't like us, and they're very close to us. So hopefully that uh, defensive pact will deter them a bit. Um, but we'll see. Let's see what happens. All right, yeah, detected. yeah. That. How many more once until this is done? Twenty-nine. Ooh, a while. Okay. We're gonna get that second uh, science ship right now, because I can afford it. Like we're not really doing anything with our money. Yeah, we're not really doing anything with our money. We could be working on our spaceports, but. There's no real need right now. I'm not really worried about that. Destruction ship working on stuff over here. The circle's growing. Good stuff. Good stuff. So we'll uh, we'll do that with our science ship again. And uh, I'm not worried about getting more money because once again, once that minus eight goes off, we'll be plus five, so we'll be okay. And then if I really need money, I can move over to work this. This guy's not even done yet, anyways. Successful. All right, we finished our bio lab. So, next, I want to... I'm not really worried about this. I don't really care about this. Because leaders, I already have enough, and I don't plan on getting too many. What I would have liked to see is, like, a min minus cost to leaders, because leaders are pretty expensive as robots. Uh, it, it costs, like, 100. It usually costs 50 for other nations, but because we're immortal, like, we're machines, you can see that plus 100% cost costs double. So it's at 100 instead of 50. Uh, ooh, there's a genius. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, we're going to get this genius. And uh, we're going to change out. We're going to change out our physics guy, who uh, right now is bonus at computing. So uh, right now he gets bonus on like... This, this tech, if we research this, he gets a plus 15. Um, but we're not researching that right now. We're researching the power plant, which is not, so we don't get the plus 15. But if we throw on the genius, it's plus 10 to everything. So that just went from 7 to 17. And that's a 10% a, a across the board, which is really good for us. Um, I'm not too worried about putting this genius in the society because society research is... Eh, it's okay. Like right here, like... None of these are really important to me. The border range is okay. It's pretty good, but it's going to take us a while. It's going to take us 100 months. And what that will do is uh, when we finish research researching this, uh, these orange circles will grow by 20%, which is which is okay, which is good. It's not bad. Uh, what did we find here? Remnants of a small Voltaeum Helium-3 mining base have been found at the bottom of a large crater on Igloma-3. So this system. Uh, the blast has created a crater from inside this facility. In, an equipment failure or accident cannot count for massive explosion. I wonder what happened there. I guess we'll find out. Construction is complete. You're researching this? Oh, you can't. You're not. You have enough skill to. All right. So, so long as we're building pops, I'm okay. Uh, 
We're gonna actually move this guy to plus two. Just take the minus four. That's fine. This one's almost done, right? 26 months? Not not really, but eh. energy is not really too much of an issue. So we finished our science ship. We're gonna stick that scientist that we replaced, the computers guy, on here and send him over here to assist the research. Once again, that'll give us plus two unity. And getting unity increases the, the time or decreases the time that we'll get this. So right now we're 23 months uh, Construction out complete. getting one of these. Um, we'll see how much that lowers it. System survey complete. Surveying systems. I construction ship's not doing anything, so we're gonna build a mining station on this last mineral deposit in Oxamon. And uh, yeah, so it's been about an hour. Um, we got the base of our, you know, the, the starting point of our empire down. We're going for kind of a research, uh, not too much expansion, research uh, based. This guy's fucking shit. Um, so we're, we're probably gonna have to log this, lock this off because I don't want him getting this 23 and then this 24. We'll probably have to build a frontier station, which is not a colony, but it will create that influence circle. So it's not a colony. I don't colonize a, colonize a planet, but eventually what I can do is lock him out of this by building something here. Oops. Can I demonstrate? I guess not, but I, uh, uh, I can show you down here. Where is it? This frontier outpost. It's a space station where that, that will emit that orange border. And so that will keep him from pushing in here, right? Because I'll have a thing down. This The only issue is that if this green circle grows too much and absorbs this planet, I can't build it there. So I'll have to fall back and build it on Andak. That's fine. So long as I control this hyper lane, he won't be able to get these two planets, which I really need. The 23 and the 24, those are pretty big. And then we'll naturally grab this 24. Our ally here, our, our defensive pact ally is actually doing pretty well. Uh, he's... <laughs> He's pretty big, so he's. you can see one of his uh, frontier outposts. Like I said, this isn't a colony. You can tell the colonies with the little icons next to it. It's a, it's a frontier outpost, so it's emitting that that circle. And he's locked this hyperspace lane. So pretty cool stuff. Um, but that's going to be episode one. Let me know what you think about this kind of series. It's, once again, supposed to be a lot more chill uh, than the other ones. You know, watch this when you're you know trying to fall asleep or whatever. Or maybe you guys enjoy the series and you like hearing me explain the game and talk about this game. I know a lot of you were tuning into the streams and you guys were like what the hell is going on so hopefully this gives you more understanding of the game if you'd like to see more stellaris uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments if you want to see me talk about certain topics while i play stellaris like i don't know i tried to talk a little bit about paintball today but i don't know i kind of was focused more on teaching you guys the game but if there's some topics you want me to talk about whether it be news or ideas or thoughts on something or anything anything you want to hear me talk about go ahead and um put that in the comments as well I hope you enjoyed the Stellaris episode one. We got more squad videos coming out. Uh, we got um, some other ideas coming out. Uh, might get some paintball videos, depending on how much I end up going. Um, but yeah, I plan on getting into MagFed paintball. Hopefully, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave a uh, like and a comment, and uh, make sure you talk about what you'd like to see in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to check out Humble Monthly for over $100 worth of games every month for just $12. You'll also get 10% off their entire store, fund a charity, and support this channel all at the same time. Check it out in the description below.